I don't know guys, I have my reservations for this Alienware headset. I don't have high expectations, but man, when you advertise RGB and command center as part of your five main key points on a box, <laughs> maybe it might not be that great, but it does have dual mode wireless, which is very deceiving. It's dual mode as in you can use this in 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode or plug into a 3.5 millimeter jack to use it in wired mode. So the dual mode wireless is very deceiving. This does not have Bluetooth. Also command center, not to foreshadow anything, but is an absolute joke. So this is the new 720H from Alienware. This is what the microphone sounds like. Let me know what you think. It is AI noise canceling. So the first, let's say five to 10 seconds, are not usable and then noise cancellation kicks in and your voice actually gets picked up and uh yeah what do you think of the sound quality but of course the most important thing on any gaming headset are the visuals we get rgb i still cannot believe they put that on the box i mean i thought we were past that come on to be honest the illumination is subpar it's unnecessary on a wireless headset anyway uh it's just in the logo here i was hoping that these front sections would be illuminated for that extra effect. It does have Dolby Audio and the high-res audio badge. We shall see. The thing is, I've been on a search for the next perfect wireless headset. My current top pick is the uh, Nova Pro Wireless from SteelSeries, although the nubbin on the interior is becoming annoying. And the 720H comfort-wise hits all the points. It is lightweight. The flexible headband on the interior is adjustable in certain levels. Sound isolation when you put this on is present, but it's not like you would experience with leather or pleather ear cushions. This one's fabric and it's slightly on the rougher edge. Uh, I do like the fabric material on the headband and the self-adjusting headband on the interior and works very well. Kind of like what we've seen from Still Series, but this one you can actually move in multiple increments uh, inside this headband. The ear pads allow my ears to breathe, although it is a slightly harsher material. I prefer something softer. I would say comfort is excellent, but it doesn't feel like $160 worth, you know? The battery life is rated up to 30 hours and this thing has fast charging. So in 15 minutes, you can get up to six hours of additional usage of charging. The USB-C port is in this like really random front location. So you cannot use this in the wired USB-C mode. USB-C here is just for charging, okay? <laughs> leave uncertainty behind for something that is guaranteed to last. The new P20 series grants unlimited upgrades with roomy insides, dual 360s, metal front mesh for good airflow, and four models to choose from. Check out Antec down below. <laughs> now you guys heard the pretty horrible sound quality of the microphone in the intro and I thought, hey, what if I connect this 3.5 mm cable that comes with a headset and check out that microphone quality? And you're probably thinking, hold on a second, Dimitri, it sounds a little bit distant and not like it's coming right in front of your mouth. And you would be right. When you plug in the cable, the microphone isn't on the headset. It's on the cable. So you would have to definitely hold it in order to get any decent microphone quality out of it. And this microphone sounds actually better than the one that's included on the headset in the wireless operation. I am so disappointed to see huge face palm, $460. I've never seen a headset do this before and they don't even tell you. Also in wired mode, you can still turn the headset on. It doesn't do anything. So as long as the cable is plugged in, the wireless operation is disabled. And just for reference, here's the wireless sound quality of the microphone on the headset itself. Uh, pretty horrible still. I actually do prefer the microphone quality on the cable, although it is a bit distant. And just for reference, here's what a proper wireless microphone sounds like. This is the Corsair HS80 RGB wireless. I think it sounds very clean, natural, and a little bit better than many wired microphones too. And that is why I'm so frustrated with the microphone quality on the 720H in wireless operation. It should not sound that bad, especially because it's 2023. This thing is not cheap. Come on, man. To mute the microphone, we have a button on the back here on the left side and the microphone illuminates in red. So perfectly in your periphery vision so you know when this thing is muted, but the microphone is also muted when it's retracted into the headset. And there's an audible click there too. The USB-C receiver is absolutely tiny. Uh, it is labeled though, that's nice. And it's also illuminated over here when it's plugged in. 
You can plug it into the headset for storage when you're traveling so you don't lose this. And we also have a USB uh, a adapter for this USB receiver. Control wise, everything is simplified. So a volume control that is instantaneous with a power button and LED. On the left side, we have a mic mute button that has a voice prompt. We have a chat mix, which I find really strange and that 3.5 millimeter jack for wired operation. I would say the biggest sin with this product though is the command center software. So you can do more things with the UI elements than you can actually change settings on this headset. So for example, you can go dark or light, you can change the different particle effects of the background and the UI highlight elements, sure. But then once we go into the headset, the only positive thing I can say is the massive battery percentage indicator right there. And you go into lighting, you change different effects and you can change the color and the brightness of that effect. Pretty standard stuff. I would just recommend you turning it off and save it just so that you can save some battery there. But then when we go into the different settings and the sound, there is no settings for the microphone. So you cannot disable that horrible AI noise cancellation effect that is applied by default. And you cannot change any of the equalizer settings on the headset as well. So you launch this Dolby Atmos, it opens up you can ignore from signing in, go to settings and you do have to right click spatial sound and enable Dolby Atmos for headphones. Only then we are introduced to some audio customization. So there's our saving grace. So you can choose between different presets or go into one of the customs and uh, adjust that equalizer setting, which is great, but still nothing for the voice. All right which is really, really unfortunate because the microphone on here is absolutely garbage anyway. So Tarkov with this headset is crunchy enough. You know, I feel like I'm not missing out on too many details, like the mid-range is not muffled. So on that front, it's good, but I don't feel like it's $160 good in terms of the sound quality and the microphone quality as well. And so as a complete package, it's a little, not a little, it's quite a disappointment to be honest. I do prefer to play without Dolby Atmos. I feel like a Dolby Atmos, especially for Tarkov and the performance mode, just expanding things that were unnatural to me. And you know, I kind of lose track of like how far certain sound elements and footsteps are. So I'm playing Tarkov with Dolby Atmos disabled and I feel like you should too. Also, I will say the fact that the volume controller is on the right ear cup, that means that you have to remove your mouse hand and that's a no-go for me. Most headsets have it on the left, so you can still kind of be in control of your surroundings if you're trying to change the volume, but not, not on this headset. Oh, this is open. I would say this headset does not punish you in terms of sharpness, in terms of too much detail or not enough bass, for example. It's very average, and if you do want some additional expansion, there's always uh, Dolby Atmos that does expand the sound stage a little bit. For games like Atomic Heart, I find it to be, you know, very decent and give me a slightly larger audio world. I think in general, for me, this product lacks refinement. You know, the fact that you cannot use this microphone, even though it's much worse when you plug in the cable, you know, that's something that you have to find out when you do microphone tests. There's no information about that. This is not a dual mode wireless gaming headset. This is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless headset that you can also use with a wired connection. So the dual mode, wireless connectivity language is totally misleading as well and i do have a gripe with that at 160 dollars the audio quality for the drivers i would say is passable but at 160 dollars you have to take the whole package into account the microphone is definitely not it comfort wise that's a plus uh software totally not it and yes the dolby atmos in terms of eq customization is there but having absolutely no settings for the microphone is a deal breaker for me personally. If above $100 is your budget, definitely look into the HyperX Cloud 2s. That's kind of a, a staple now. The Corsair HS80 wireless as well because of that microphone quality and sound quality is totally decent. The only reason to consider this pair is if it's heavily discounted on sale uh, and you don't care about the microphone quality because otherwise comfort, at least for me, is very good and sound quality is decent. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video.